For over 36 years, Rockwood has grown to become a name synonymous with camping and the great outdoors. Let's see how easy it is to set up your new Rockwood camping trailer. Once you have selected your campsite, make sure you position your camping trailer on level ground. Setup begins with cranking the dolly jack to level the camper. Next, set the stabilizer jacks with sand pads. Simply crank down each jack to stabilize the camper. After all stabilizers are set, release the four latches that hold the roof secure. If you plan to utilize the awning, unzip and roll out the awning at this point. Release the awning legs located on the front of the awning rail and place them on the ground. Now, Extend both support arms located on the back of the awning rail and place into the sockets located on the roof sidewall. Continue to extend the support arms until the fabric is taut and twist to lock. Next, extend the legs to the top pin position on the pole. If your Rockwood is equipped with an electric lifter system, be sure that the unit has battery power before proceeding. Once the roof latches are released, simply push the switch on the power winch to the up position to raise the roof. Keep an eye on the extender cable for indication that the roof is fully raised. To lower the roof, push the switch on the power winch to the down position. If necessary, the power winch is equipped with a manual override feature. To access the mount for the crank handle, remove the round plastic cap on the motor cover. Then insert the supplied jack handle and crank the handle to raise and lower the roof. For manual lift systems, insert the lifter crank handle in the crankshaft and turn it clockwise to raise the roof. The Rockwood lifter system has an automatic brake. If the handle is released at any time, cranking up or down, the roof will hold its position. The guide wire will tell you when the roof is extended to full height. You can see Rockwood uses wider lifter posts. These posts are twice the size of many competitors and will add more support and stability to the roof. Set the safety supports on the opposing corner lifter arms. At this time, adjust the awning legs to the desired height. If you prefer, you can attach the awning legs to the sockets located on the sidewall. During periods of high precipitation, adjust the awning pitch to allow water to run off. It is recommended during heavy winds that the awning be closed. Now, slide the bunk end out until it is fully extended. Then, remove the support poles from under the mattress. Inserting the round end into the frame and using your shoulder for leverage, raise the bunk and insert the flattened end into the clip, locking the bunk into position. Rockwood permanently attaches their tent material to the bunk end to ensure dry bedding during setup and takedown in the event of rain. It also provides extra safety if someone were to lean against it from the inside. Adjust the side bunk tent assembly by securing the fitted corners and extending the tent sides below the bunk. Now, repeat the bunk end setup procedure on the other bunk end. Rain or shine, you'll feel secure knowing that Rockwood uses the strongest, most water-resistant tent in the industry. Vinylon is a five-piece, sectionalized tent with down-facing interlock seams and double-stitched at all tension points. See your owner's manual for more information on how easy it is to clean and maintain your tent for years and years of enjoyment. It's now time to address the procedures done from inside the camper. First, set the galley into position by flipping it up onto the cabinet. Next, zip the tent corners. The five-piece tent assembly makes it easy to repair or replace a panel should the need ever arise. Next. Put the overhead support pole into the bed bow and push into place. Notice that all supports are powder coated and won't leave unsightly marks on the interior tenting. Then adjust the length of the pole until the bunk material is stretched tight. Set the other bunk end pole into place and the bed ends are ready to use. Remember, when closing up your camper, 
be sure that all tent material and other obstacles are clear of the slide rail path before pushing in the bed. Remove the dinette cushions from the bed position and place the table on its side or on the bed. Simply unfold the table legs and lock into place. The model 1940 LTD uses a freestanding table so it can be utilized both inside and outside the camper. If you have the 1640 LTD, install the pedestal legs into the floor pedestal and set the table into place. Now, position the seat cushions and supported back cushions on the bases. Setting the screen door on a Rockwood is a snap. Release the door by turning the two twist locks. As the door swings down, lift it up and align the tabs into the slots on top of the sidewall. Twist the retainers to secure the top of the door. Attach the two door sections together and release the retainer clip on the side of the door. Now, simply attach the tent to the screen door with the Velcro strip. Your Rockwood has been equipped with standard heated mattresses that generate a warm, gentle, soothing heat for those chilly nights. To provide power to your heated mattresses, Simply plug in the power cord and controller into the outlet sewn into the side of the mattress and plug into a 110 volt outlet located on the walls near the bed ends. Your camper is equipped with dome lights that have individual switches. It's important to always turn off all lights and the furnace prior to closing the trailer. Since the appliances in your Rockwood camper may vary according to floor plans and options, we suggest that you consult your dealer and or owner's manuals included with your camper for operating and maintenance information. Returning outside the camper, attach the tent to the Velcro along the length of the bunk. A shock cord is also added for safety. Next, Velcro the lifter post cover in place for added protection against the elements and insects. If you desire, you can remove the two burner stove from inside the camper and install it onto the mounting bracket located on the side of the camper. Then, attach the LP gas line provided from the opening on the side of the camper to the stove. Don't forget to remove the stove before closing up the camper. At this point, your Rockwood tent camper is ready to use. Rockwood has combined Amish craftsmanship and over 36 years of experience to build you a camper of exceptional quality and value. Thank you for choosing Rockwood.